How you doing? This is John Del Vecchio at Street Skills, and I was watching this 2001 500 CC MotoGP race, and I saw an opportunity to, to explain something I teach in my Street Rider course, and I thought I'd bring it to my community's attention. What we have in this race here is a rider by the name of Gary McCoy, who is about to come into a left-hander, and this tar snake is going to prove to be quite a handful for him. Now, of course, the maximum lean angles, the maximum chassis pitch, and the, the grip these guys have, it's no match for what we see on the street, obviously. But we can actually see very well what's going to happen if you use extreme lean angles. This person's on a... Uh, a racetrack where even tar snakes can take you down there. Now, over to Gary's right, you have some other riders. And this is Kenny Roberts Jr. Uh, he had just won the championship the year before, number one plate. And once Gary McCoy is in a full lean, he, he has limited options of going to his left. So he is stuck having to deal with the repercussions of just the wrong way to hit this tire snake. And so think about you on the street with your motorcycle, you want l as little lean angle as possible. Lean angle uh, is not your friend. Extreme lean angles, I, I might say. So watch what happens here. I can't slow it down, but as he hits that tire snake, you can actually see he lose he has nowhere to go. He can't change his line or whatnot. And again, this gives us just a little snapshot as to why we want to have less lean angle. Now, had he been uh, a little bit straighter forward, here he hits it. This is him going into it, Gary McCoy. And just like this, he's going to be down up here on the left. And that's all it takes. So take a street skills class, learn how to keep the motorcycle uh, more vertically straight. And how, also how to avoid those tire snakes altogether because it's possible to avoid those tire snakes if you're not at maximum lean angle. Thank you very much.